Hello friends, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Jango World. So in yesterday's video, we have created models for our blog websites. So in today's video, we are going to start entering our data in our blog uh, database. So we will enter only two or three data and two or three comments. And then in another video, we will start rendering all these data in our Jango template. So let's first enter the data. So what I'm going to do is here, I will first create blogs. Okay, so add blog. I will write here article for R Markdown language. So I will search here R Markdown Wikipedia. Okay. And I will take this. So for uh, for this I will for name I will copy this markdown only and I will keep author as admin and then i will copy this content and i will paste this in description okay and you can see our posted date is automatically generated of, of today's date so i will hit save and another i will take is python okay i will python Sorry, not R Python, only Python. So I will take this as our title. So I will go to add block, paste this name as our title. And this time I will write this blog as yours, yours author. And I will copy this paragraphs and I will paste it over here. And I will hit save. And on another blog I will write as R programming language. So R wiki and I will copy this R and I will go to add blog, paste it over here and I will give author as yours only and I will copy these paragraphs and I will paste it over here and save it. So here I have added three posts. Okay, so I will go to blog comment. I will go to add comment and I will write very good author will author will be admin and he will write blog he will give comment on Yash blog so as you can see that we have we, they are showing us the object one object two and object three we don't want to see this like uh, we don't want to see uh, the names of our blog like this right so we need to change in our code so jump to vs code in models.py here we will define a function so def underscore underscore str this will take self parameter so self and here i will return return blog so blog name so self dot name and i will give author name also so self dot author okay so this should uh, show us the blog names over here and author name. so what's it can only concatenate with string so we will wrap this in str function now if we do send c they are showing us the blog name blog title and the user uh, the user which has created the blog so this is not still making us the clear visibility so we will do something like this refresh no now i think it should be fine like it's showing proper markdown and it is written by admin python it is written by yash or it is written by yash okay so here i will write very good and the author which is commenting is admin and he is commenting on yash on the post which is made by yash and that is python so i will save it okay then or the comment one is 
uh, created i will add another comment and this time it i will give good and i will give author as yash commenter i mean and here if yash will comment on admin's blog so mark down and i will hit save okay now if we will go to blogs then you can see our blogs are now arranged in proper manner like it is showing us the title and the author name. same way we need to do over here so here we will go to vs code and define the function so def okay and str self and here i will give blog so return return self dot blog and plus self dot um author so i will need to wrap this in str function as it returns integer value this also i think it should be in str only and if i will refresh over here then you can see that we have done okay now here i think i should remove this yes so this is now more clear okay so yeah we have entered the data and we have seen that how we can print the um title on our admin panel instead of blog comment object one and blog object one so in tomorrow's video we are going to start with our templating like how we can render this data in our template okay so this is it for today's video guys and if you like my video please like share and subscribe and i will see you next time thank you